Right, so uh, what I want to talk about uh, today is this fantastic piece of kit from this German company called HK Audio. It was around about 2016 when I was looking on the internet and I first saw this being demonstrated by one of their employees. And I couldn't believe the pristine sound that this particular kit was able to push out. So I came down to Rimmer's music store in Bolton and that's where I met James. And James says, I'll arrange for a demonstration. So that's why we're here today, to have a demonstration. I'm James from Rumours Music here in Bolton and I'm here today with Martin, one of our customers, and Neville, who works as part of HK Audio. And we're here today to have a demonstration on the 608i and a 602 running in collaboration with each other. And uh, we're going to demo it with some music and we're going to have a little talk about both of the products, go through them, have a look at the back, show you a, little, a few features, have a look at the app as well that comes with it which you can control off an iPad and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. it again here. I need to tell you first of all that I've no affiliation with either HK Audio or Rimmer's Music, that I am definitely a customer that is seriously interested in buying this particular kit and the sooner the better because I think the sound on it is second to none for the size of the unit, it pushes out an amazing sound. So I'm going to hand over to a representative and he's going to take us through a few of the ways in which we can use it. All right, and uh, I mean, just to show you as well some of the, the things with the, uh, you know, the, in terms of the practicality of the system and how easy it is to transport, that, you know, in terms of transportability, I mean, you're not going to get a lighter sub than that, you know, for the, the level of performance that you'll get, I think it is 16 kilos off the top of my head for the subwoofer. And in terms of your transportability, the two little satellites clip straight into the back of the sub here and then you've just got the two little locators which you need to use to lock them into place and then those satellites are locked into place and not going anywhere and you've still got a system which is an absolute breeze of a, a one hand lift. Um, that in terms of then protecting this one of the slip over covers comes with a system of standards. So this is basically uh, your dust cover type idea, you know, with a, a cut out for the handle. Um, if you want to make your life a little bit easier again, there's also the option of a padded bag on wheels. So with this, You've got the whole system in there and you've then got a, a retractable handle and you've got wheels so off we go. Hiya, I'm here with James again and uh, James has decided to set the guitar up and just show you the parameters of, and its capabilities. Uh, I'm just going to let uh, James do a few tunes and I'm just going to manipulate the sound using the app that comes with it. <clears throat> Right, just increase the sound there, guys. Let me hear that uh, German audio excellence. Yeah, so here we've got the guitar plugged into channel one, and so we've got the level control for the guitar on this thing. Yeah, it's very nice, that sound. Now we've got the overall master volume as well for the whole system here. So obviously with multiple inputs, you know, you can create whatever your, your mix is, um, and then you've got overall master control of the level. You can go to each individual channel on that and EQ it. You can, yeah. So if you want to get a little bit more in depth with it, if we pop it into the edit mode for each channel, yes, you can manipulate um, that. you've then got a full parametric EQ section on it. Whereby you've got. Coming for a close up there, Yeah, so I mean, if you can see on here, you've got four different parametric EQ points that you can select and freely configure. So, um, I mean, and as well with the on screen facility, you can touch and drag these points. So you can select your frequency here. So if we decided, right, let's boost 200 hertz, for instance, we can set it onto 200 hertz, and then we have control over boost or cut of that particular frequency band. We'll pop a bit more level on so and, and pick a frequency that we'll be able to hear with the guitar at the moment. So let's pick this frequency here. So this is uh, this is set at two kilohertz, and, and then hopefully 
Yeah, to be on the heat as far as you can hear with the onboard microphone there. If we put that frequency or boost that frequency, very nice. We can drag that frequency. So you've got a huge amount of manipulation over the control of the sound with the different frequency bands there. So it offers a lot more than that besides it. It does, I mean, and without any of this, you've still got EQ control from the system itself. And there's a tone control on the sub, which gives you a continuously variable EQ, but it gives you nowhere near the possibilities of the, the parametric EQ that you can do from here. Um, and then, as well as the parametric facility on here as well, uh, you've also got the facility to dial in or out the level of whichever reverb effect that you've chosen. So if maybe James could just play again there. And then I'll back off. So you've got your flat signal there and you can gradually dial in the desired level of reverb. So, and then also you've got another layer of control here because it's also a compressor on board and you can go in and rather than just a uh, you know, the usual compressor knob on or off or adjust, you can actually go in here and set your attack level, your release level, the ratio, the knee, the threshold, the gain. So again, you've got very comprehensive control over the compression that you want, and that's applicable on each individual channel. So if you want different compression on the guitar than you want on the vocals, it's entirely doable, whereas on a lot of systems, you would just have a master compressor on or off. And then, um, I mean, another facility that you can govern from the iPad here as well, that if you want to save a number of different presets, you can do. Um, so, you know, if there's venues that you're regularly playing in, you go in there and you get a great mix one night and you just want to save those settings and automatically go back and recall those settings next time you're playing in the same venue, uh, you can do that. You know, you can go in and store, I forget the number of presets, I think it's 99 presets, but there's plenty of presets anyway. Um, yeah, that's quite a wonderful idea, mm, that, you know, to save yeah. them presets like that. That's it. Um, and again, you know, without this, you've still got total controllability from the mixer section on the subwoofer itself. It's just that the control isn't as comprehensive as the control that the yeah, iPad Yeah, the iPad runs out of battery. It doesn't mm. matter, does it? You yeah, well, that's it, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. I wonder if James uh, can um, strum along and uh, can you do some manipulations on that? Sure. So I mean, if we go back to the, the panoramic rig again, you know, I'll just drag some of the EQs around just to give you an idea of the, the level of the effect on the sound. So, again, we've got a few different frequencies there. If you want to brighten up the top end, if you want to dip the mid in the sound, if you want to dip the bottom end there, if you want to increase the bottom end, you can pretty much raise the guitar sound however you want it to sound. So happy to have that level of control in terms of getting a really workable mix very, very quickly and very easily from this. And it's the type of app as well, it's so intuitive. And anybody who's not familiar with using this type of app, it's it's plugging and playing off you go, you know, you find your way around it in no time whatsoever. Would you say that this particular system is, um, there's a phrase that uh, gets banded about quite often, future proof. Would you say this is future proof in respect that they can update that app? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. And I mean, it's and again, it's a, it's worth pointing out. It's just a free app, you know. It's uh, it's just a case of going on onto the App Store, download the HK Audio Lucas Nano app, and then as and when there's any updates to it, all the updates will just you know come via the App Store as well. So yeah, yeah, future proof it is. For coming down, guys, uh, and demonstrating this. Uh, yeah, check, 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 man. You came down, you made a special effort for us. Nice to meet you. James, you did. Uh, You're welcome, Martin. Mm. Oh, Appreciated your uh, efforts in this. No, I have to tell you, as a customer, um, I'm very impressed with this system and I'm definitely going to be uh, buying one. And I think that uh, HK Audio, another German company that seems to be out selling the rest of us at the moment, they seem to do everything quite wonderful, don't they, the Germans? Yeah. Better than us. They just um, certainly play football better than us, anyway. Indeed. Well, certainly take penalties better than us. <laughs> <laughs> for the money that I'm going to be paying for it today, I think um, I'm getting what you call bang for buck. Heard that phrase, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed. Yeah. So thanks again. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, there's one other thing as well that I forgot to tell you about as well. With the warranty side of things, um, just to touch on that, that there's a two-year warranty comes with the system as standard, 
but then that's extendable to five years free of charge and it's just a case of when you buy the product go on the website in the warranty registration section fill in the serial number simple as that and then HK will push out a warranty certificate so in the unlikely event that you do have any problem you've got that peace of mind for five years yeah just say I was to have a problem with it this mm. is basically uh, something that has swirled around in my mind yeah. I don't have to send back to Germany for the component part I can get it oh, in no, the UK yeah, yeah 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 I mean your first port of call is via via Rimmers yeah. um, they will get in touch with the guys in our service department and you know, we've got a full-time team of technicians over at JHSE. We handle all of the UK warranty work. And yeah, you certainly don't have to send the system back to Germany again and the turnaround time will be you know, very quick from us. Well, I have to say, that's yeah. peace of mind, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll leave the final word with James. Lovely, yeah, I'd just like to thank Neville for coming down. It's pleasure. been a pleasure. Without yeah, a shadow of a doubt. And for Martin as well for doing this, for setting the video up and for doing the demonstration. It's been really great. So I just mm. thank you and thank you very much for watching. Mm.